Is this too far? Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I'll do. <laughs> so stupid. If you know me in person, you'll know the fact that I absolutely love the TV show Friends. I've been watching it since I was, I think since I was in school. It used to be on Channel 4, and then I think it was on Channel 5, and it was on E4 as well, and I used to watch every single episode again and again, on a morning, on an afternoon, I've seen them all. And one of my favourite characters, although I love all six of them, but one of my favourite characters is by far Phoebe Buffay, played by Lisa Kudrow. Merry Christmas! Merry And she thinks she's absolutely hilarious. She's just so funny. Like, I want to be a best friend. But anyway, I was racking my mind on what kind of Halloween videos I could do for this October, and the thought came to me about when Phoebe made her paintings of glad and Glynis, and she essentially forced them on Monica and Rachel and I think they had the battle between who ended up getting Gladys or Glynis because the other one didn't want the other one because the other one was way scarier so I thought to pay homage homage is it homage hang on I'm gonna have to google that word homage how do I pronounce it I'll just say respect I think so to pay respect to Phoebe Buffay it sounds as if she's died. She hasn't died. So yeah, I thought I would recreate my own Gladys slash Glynis work of art. And I can't wait. It's going to be terrifying and exciting all rolled in one. So let me go grab the materials that I've been gathering for the past few days and we can start making a work of art. Right, so I think I'm going to model my painting off Glynis rather than Gladys because quite frankly Glynis is far more terrifying. And I bought this painting off eBay which unfortunately I am going to destroy so apologies to whoever painted it I don't know there's not a signature but knowing my luck this is probably a £10,000 painting that I'm destroying oh there is there's a signature there I can't work that out but it hurts me more than it hurts whoever this artist is I'm so sorry I think I want the head I think I'm going to kind of drill a hole in the back and put a head up here because I don't know how I'm going to attach it to the canvas I don't think hot glue will do it I think I need a proper screw you're okay you're okay Oh, this is a workout. Oh, perfect. Well, I have to admit, I think she's looking fantastic already. Now I need to claw her. I was going to buy a mannequin with a full body, but I thought it was going to be too heavy, too much weight, and they're quite expensive as well. So I just bought the head, and then I'm going to drape the dress over to make it look as if she's got a body. Obviously, you know that she doesn't, but just don't expose us, okay? Expose. I bought this lovely dress off eBay and it was very cheap. I should buy all my clothes on eBay. Right, how am I going to do this? Is that the top? Yeah. Oh, there we go. It kind of looks a bit weird, doesn't it? She looks a bit like a worm. <laughs> she does look like a worm. There's no, like, shoulders in it. Oh, the dress hangs off a bit in theirs as well, so I want a bit of hangage. I'm just going to staple the shit out of it. Do you think I can staple it to her neck? I think I can. Right, I think I want to keep the bottom quite flowy. I might try and add some stuff in and make her a little bit fuller. I might just stick some of this up her. Uh, <laughs> sounded so dirty. Just to make it look like she's got a bit of a body. Oh yeah. There we go. You know what, the scarier it looks, the better the painting. Oh, I'm kind of liking it. She needs arms anyway, so I need to add arms. <laughs> Right, I think I'm just going to stuff some rubber gloves with some paper and then we'll attach that. I don't know how they got her hands so full. I couldn't quite get it to the fingers. Also, I wonder who actually made the painting for Phoebe because obviously I know Phoebe's not a real person. Obviously Lisa Kudrow is. But I wonder who was the designer or the prop maker who actually made them. They've got some serious talent. I really like them. I might do a giveaway at the end of the video. Can you guess what I'm going to give away? <laughs> Other YouTubers giving away Max and whatnot, and here's me making a crazy painting to give away. Nah, I'm joking. I don't think anyone would want this anyway. Two hands. I think I'll put her hands here. I don't know whether to hot glue them on or whether to staple gun them. I think we need a bit more padding. I 
think I might try to hot glue these on. And let me know down in the comments below if A, you're a fan of Friends, and B, if you are a fan of Friends, who's your favourite friend? Or actually, tell me who your least favourite friend is. I think that'd be more interesting. Your arm's a bit wonky, but that's okay. Ah, glue burn. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, so hot. Oof. It's getting its revenge. I think she's looking great already. I'm really happy with that. <laughs> I'm also questioning what happened to my life. <laughs> <laughs> I now spend Saturdays doing this. I enjoy it though, secretly. Right, now I've got an accessorizer. I bought this lovely necklace on eBay. It's very cheap, and that's why it keeps breaking on us. So I think I'm just gonna have to glue it to a neck. Changing plug sockets, I can't reach. Oh, you're looking so fancy. Where are you going? I'll throw this bit out. Actually, this might work as maybe it's like a bracelet. Mm, no, I don't like it. It's too much. Too much. Right, she wouldn't be complete without crazy doll things <laughs> floating around her. I again bought these off eBay. It was a mini bulk buy, and I think they're just great. I think they're not terrifying at all. And we just want to, I think, dot them around. Maybe they, these are a children. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to undress them because I think um, they're going to be too hard to stick on with the clothing. I'm going to have to blur it all out. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I just pulled its head off. Oh no. I'm so sorry, doll. Oh, I can't get it. Head back on the body. Where'd your arm go? <laughs> your arm came off in the dress. I'll have to stick your head on separately. These dolls smell as well. They smell old. Right, let's start sticking them on. Is this too far? I'm wondering. I'm really questioning. Probably is when I edit this, I'll question it even further. <laughs> Oh my god, look at this one's eyes. Good luck sleeping tonight. <laughs> I think I've officially lost it. It was about to happen eventually, wasn't it? I don't think I'm going to use their bodies. I think I'm just going to stick their heads on. I think that's what Phoebe would do. We have to think, what would Phoebe Buffet do? When you create a work of art, it's all about composition. It's all about balancing the negative and positive spaces, what's empty, what's full, and just trying to create a very balanced painting. Yep. <laughs> right, there's doll heads attached. I know a lot of people as well who are new to Friends, especially like kind of, is it Generation Z or whatever, the younger people, have accused Friends of being homophobic, transphobic, sexist a lot of kind of things and if you look back on it i suppose it was those kind of things but it was also a different time too i think when i was watching it obviously as a gay man myself when i was watching it i don't think i was offended by it or felt as though it was taking the piss in a nasty way it always felt like it came from a good place but that could just be me i'm not sure I'm not sure whether I'm not as sensitive, or I'm overly sensitive, or other people are overly sensitive, I don't know. Or whether it's just a thing from its time. Because certain things with certain jokes, they don't particularly age well. And maybe his friends hasn't particularly aged well. I'm not sure. I haven't watched it in a while actually, it's on Netflix, I need to have a good binge. But I still love the show, absolutely love it, it's one of my favourite shows of all time. I think... She's done. I don't think I wanted to add any more to her. I didn't want to add a wig, I wanted to keep her bald. I think she's looking good. I'm going to stand her up and see what she looks like and see if everything holds up. I'm just going to stable the shit out of it. Oh, is she stuck? She's stuck to the table. I've stapled her to the table. <laughs> There we go. Oh my god, all the staples came out. I'm gonna have to re-staple it one second. Why did I think it wouldn't go through the table? Look at that! Oh, my table. Oh no. <laughs> there she is. I love her. I think she's so good. Oh, stuffing fell out. But I think that has made it look better, actually. 
I really do. I might have to do a close-up of what she looks like, but I think she looks fantastic. I think I've done Phoebe Buffet proud. But I think that does it for today's video of me recreating Phoebe Buffet's painting but she also needs a name i didn't think of that i'm her creator but i didn't think of a name so leave your suggestions down below on what you want to call her and whoever picks the best name i'll create like a plaque and i'll stick it on the frame and that'll be announced in a later video so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos i was going to do like a competition and give her away to someone but a it would be very expensive to ship her and i'm pretty skint at the minute and B, I'm not sure whether anyone would want her. Do any of you want her? I kind of want to keep her, but if she's going to terrify us and haunt the studio, you can have her. <laughs> but hopefully you did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. My final Halloween video is going out next Friday, and I'll give you a hint. Who is she? <laughs> oh, I can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. But I'll see you next week for a brand new Halloween video. Bye. Yeah,